And then let's go to the telemetry page. You can hit this, choose your telemetry. So let me just show you what they got here. Free Sky, this thing, whatever, DSMX, Arduino, F FR Sky Hub. Okay, so we want FR Sky. We want Imperial. And we'll set the A1 channel later on. Okay. Number of blades. I run three blades. I don't know what that does. Bluetooth telemetry. The XJT is COM port 1. We don't have Bluetooth telemetry. We're not using COM port 2, so don't worry about that. And we'll set that later. Okay. Now let's go back to telemetry. We want custom. Okay, these are where this is where you'll select your values. Okay, I want the SWR. I want the RSSI. Um, what do I want over here? Um, I think it's uh VFAS. Okay, and voltage and fuel. I think it's fuel. No, it's MA. Okay. You can have custom page two. That's all we want. Okay. There we go. There's there's your GPS screen right there. That'll give you GPS. All right, the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to output an RSSI channel from your radio to your OSD um, in Betaflight. Now this, this method can be used if you do not have an RSSI pad on your receiver or an RSSI pad on your flight controller. Uh, for example, I have an Omnibus F4 which has an RSSI pad, so I have a wire going directly from my X4R SB RSSI pad to the RSSI pad on the flight controller. So, uh, anyways, to begin, uh, first thing we're going to do is go into model setup into mixer. We're going to find an open channel which should get us to channel 8. Okay, let me raise this up so you can see. All right, so channel eight. Oop, for source, we are gonna select S scalar SC one. Okay, so we need to scroll. If we find SC one. Okay, weight is gonna be one hundred. Offset is going to be minus 100. So if you don't do the offset, then your RSSI value will never drop below 50%, apparently. That's what they say. Okay, fixed offset is on. Use output is off. And let's turn trim off. Okay. And that's it. That's all we need to do there. So, all right. <clears throat> now we need to go into I think it's globals into scalars go to scalar one SC1 okay this the source for SC1 is going to be RSSI I passed it okay so it's RSSI name you can call it whatever you want I call it oops oops ah crap one two 
name it RSSI. Okay, we'll exit out of there. Offset of zero, a multiplier of 20. Divisor of one unit is going to be percent. Right there, percent. Okay. Oh, my batteries are done charging. <clears throat> okay. Um, decimals is going to be zero, and offset at is going to equal first. Okay. And that's you don't. That's it. That's all you need to change. All right. So if you go now, this is going to send RSSI to your. It goes from the receiver to the radio, and then from the radio back to the receiver to the flight controller through a channel input. And then we'll now show you what to do in Betaflight. All right. Step one is to connect to Betaflight. So let's connect. Go to the receiver tab. Okay, right here, RSSI channel. We want to output it on channel four. Okay, so right now you can see the RSSI is moving. So let me shut off the radio. Okay. The RSSI value on the setup page is 1%. So let me turn the radio back on. Okay. Now it's at 